Hey guys, what is up? Um, today we are going to learn how to do the forest, this forest, in SketchUp and V-Ray. Okay, so first of all, there are three big news. First, there is a PST Photoshop file giveaway in Instagram and Facebook. It's on our on our mat or or how to do a tutorial without a 3D model uh for psd file so if you want this for free you guys can uh, go to our instagram at let's show it better or facebook at show it better and um just follow the rules and we will you know have this competition till the 26th of december the second big news is you can purchase this psd file and 3d model with the trees the ones that we are about to see at in the link below in Gumroad so you guys can follow along and also see some extra secrets done to the image. The third news is uh, you can always help us continue making more videos. Uh, you know you guys can support us with a donation on in, in PayPal. There is a link down below and also there is a link in our channel if you want to donate I don't know a dollar ten dollars whatever or you can just subscribe and share this with your friends and like the video and comment it it will help us a lot so okay so let's start with the the forest right so the important thing here and the thing that i want you guys to understand is how to put a lot of trees in a file without it you know just like without your computer crashing right so there is a plugin that i'm going to show you guys that i used but it's also very important that you guys understand how to set the scene, right? So in here, like you, I'm showing you guys, first of all, I have background, like PNG background and uh, with trees, the forest. So, you know, so you, can, so you can make it look like a real forest. Then I have uh, shown trees only where the render is going to be, right? So I'm, I don't have trees where the, where the render is not going to be shown. I only have trees where the render is very important for it. So I'm going to copy one of these trees and put it in a new file so you guys can see how it looks like, right? And I'm just going to render it quickly. It's also included in the package. And here you guys can see the render of what that tree looks like, right? It's a good tree. It's also a proxy, so it just it weighs a lot less. And it's like an instance. It's not the real component. So the, the plugin that we're going to use is it's called make fur and specifically for this one we're going to we're going to use the the tool that says make crowd you know the crowd tool so i'm going to select the tree i have to have the surface selected in this case it's going to be the grass i'm going to select the tree where it says components or comp list then i'm going to put a uh, 0.05 for density and then the rest i'm going to leave it just as it is and when i click preview crowd they're going to, they're going to be like various green dots that are going to preview like how much of the instances are going to be copied and then when i you know i want to confirm that i just put make crowd you guys have to be very careful like if you put one it's it's, it's going to be a lot so if you don't, don't have a good computer it may crash so here I, i've had a 0.05 uh, you know 0 0.05 of of density and this is what the trees look like and you know it's it's it, it's it's good it, it also really depends on your scenes uh for these for the scenes that i had it's it was going to be more like an eye view image it's not going to be so much of an aerial image so so it was going to work well as well and it's also important you see that in the background you have an image of a forest over green so it looks like a real dense forest because if you don't have an image it's going to look like a lot of, a lot less trees this, this is a view of what it looks like from the top and um yeah it's just very very important that you don't crash the model so in this this this, this was like a very short tutorial on how to use this plugin uh, you guys can download this plugin. I'm gonna leave. I think I'm gonna leave the download uh, link below. But if not, you guys can look search for Make Fur plugin in SketchUp, and there is going to be a file um, for you guys. You so you guys can install it, or you guys can put like in in the plugin like inside uh, SketchUp. You know, in the extensions tool, extensions tool, you guys can search for make fern, and it's going to work. So, 
yeah it's just very important what i what, what i what i told you guys right you like know what is going to be like in the foreground and the background of the image and what is not going to be like in the you know like in the still you guys just don't put it in there because your your computer is going to crash if you have a normal computer then it's not, it's going to crash um i also used the same technique for the grass the only thing was that i used various components like for example for the trees i only used one type of tree but for the grass i used various types so it's basically the same procedure uh, nonetheless i'm going to make perhaps another video uh, showing like the different instances of the grass and special tricks so you guys can see uh, why is it important you know not to put a lot of grass everywhere but just in some parts so just you know to make a recap remember to use the plugin first select the surface you want the component to be copied in you don't, you don't want this to be a very big surface because it's going to copy a lot of instances you want it to be a very small surface and the surface has to be the exact one that you know is going to be seen in the camera then you want to select the component or the or the components that you want to be copied and uh, make sure where it says uh, density that it's the right density and use the preview button to see how much of these green dots are going to be seen if there are a lot of green dots perhaps your computer your computer may crash if there are not then you can um then you can just put make crowd and then it will make it it's also important if you put this in a different layer put this in, if you put it in a different layer and then you can keep on working on the model turn that layer off and then at the end when you're going to render it's going to be shown okay so i hope you guys like this video um we are going to use this model this 3d model not only for this but we're going to use it to explain how i added so how we added the fog and the final image and how we added the grass right the grass and all the shrubs so just um i'm gonna we're going to upload these videos you know perhaps next week so you guys stay tuned remember you can purchase this file and remember you guys can uh uh go to our instagram and facebook for the other file and just subscribe like this and comment it okay thank you for watching have a good day